Hi y'all, I'm going to be talking about the time I went to Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water and spent a week there during a high school residency. So the first thing was the application and you have to go online to fill it out. I think at like the Falling Water website, you can search high school residency and I think I did the long session um, and that's where like it's a few days longer than like the normal residency and it was a little bit more expensive. But anyway, so I filled out the application and basically I talked about my experience in architecture and the things I did in high school um, and my passion for architecture. And then I was also able to submit some of my, um, my work that I've done in high school relating to architecture, um, which was basically my portfolio. And I added that into it. And then a few days later, they um, wanted to do a phone, inter phone interview with me and then they basically kind of asked like the same questions that were part of your application about like why you're interested in it um, and I think it's important for you if you want to be accepted into this to talk about like um, truly like how much you care about architecture and the things that you've done that show like your experience with it because it is a little bit competitive to get into um, and I think they actually had a lot of applicants that year, so they decided to have two sessions um, to allow more applicants. And it took them a while to um, decide on who was accepted into it, um, but they chose me and I was able to go. Um, so I scheduled like my tickets to like arrive there on my own. Like I decided to fly there on my own from Texas to Pittsburgh. And um, so I bought my tickets and I met up with a few of the students, I mean the few, a few of the other applicants that got accepted. Um, I think there are about four that I met up with. Um, we're, they're from different parts of the world. So there's someone from Russia, someone from LA, and I think someone from China or DC. I think he's from China, but he's living in DC. And then another guy from New York, I believe. And then we met up with one of the lead coordinators and then he drove us to Mill Run, which is where uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water was. And that's where we'd be staying for the week. So as we were driving away from the airport, we drove through Pittsburgh and we were able to, I was able to see the cool yellow bridges because it's the steel bridge city or something like that. And it was really pretty. And I think it took about an hour and a half or two hours to get to where we were supposed to be staying. And so when we got there, we we got out of the van that we were in and then around us was just a bunch of like trees and it was really cool and pretty. Then we walked into the place called High Meadow, which is uh, where we were staying. And it's also like a few minutes, like right next to Falling Water. Um, and then we met up with a bunch of the people there, the other applicants and then the, our, um, house mothers who were supposed to be watching after us at, while we stayed in the house or it was called a high meadow um, and then we also met the other coordinators and our mentors who were like architect so um, when I entered into the room there were like so many people and I was kind of nervous because I didn't really know anyone else there um, and they had like some snacks and I was getting some snacks and then it was kind of like a where we entered in was like the living area and it was kind of small because there was like everyone of all the kids were there the applicants i mean and like their parents and then it was crowded but anyways um once they left we all introduced ourselves and we did like this cool little exercise about like what would we be if we were like a vehicle or something like that and then yeah one of the people who was our house mom she was actually she um She's one of the New York Times best-selling authors, so that was really cool. So then after we introduced ourselves, we went outside, um, not too far, and then we were kind of huddled up in this like sort of campfire area where they do campfires. And we basically went on this thing called a silent walk. And what it was, was like, um, it was like a trail that leads up to falling water. I didn't know that's what we were doing, but I kind of spoiled it. But we're supposed to basically, be writing down things that that like or that came to our senses on the walk so like 
for me there were a bunch of a bunch of bugs and then it was really hot and sunny and then there was like it was just a weird feeling and then um as i kept walking i finally saw falling water or i could hear water before i saw it and then i saw the back part of falling water not like the famous view but it was really cool and when we were inside of falling water we did a sketch of some places so that was really cool um and also i think we went at a time where it was closed so we were there after hours when nobody was there and we did some sketches and basically went back to our our rooms at high meadow and this place is so pretty it was like once you enter you're like you see like a big room where everyone eats and it's like a long table and like a screen you can see like out into the like the trees and it's so pretty and then on the right there's like another door that you go into and that's like the living room area where we met everyone and then if you went like the main area if you go left that's where the rooms are for the girls and my room was so pretty it was i mean most of the rooms like the same but mine like once you enter well the whole room's like wood it's so pretty and then there's, there's like the big window that, like looks out into like the trees and it's so pretty and then it's just a nice like modern design it was really cool so the second day we were able to go back to falling water by the way we went there like we're gonna be going there a lot this week um so we went there the next day and we went on a falling water tour i think that's when there actually were a bunch of people there at that time but we were able to walk around the grounds and go inside and explore um basically falling water and then after that, we were um, we took a lunch break and ate in the cafe there, and then also were able to look through the gift shop. Then we went to our studio. After that, our studio uh, was a f is just a short little walk, like from High Meadow, which is where we're staying. It's all like in the same area, um, and so our studio it was really cool. We our, we did our first activity, and it was called the Seven Senses Bonanza. And so what we did was we basically we had like seven rounds so we would choose like let's say smell and then we'd have to get a bunch of materials and somehow create something that that came to us when we thought about like smell or something and then we also learned about two um, different senses there's proprioception and vestibular sense and so we basically were really learning about these different senses that had to do with architecture and it was kind of stressful because like we'd have 30 seconds or something or a minute to like create these things out of like whatever we could, we could find then we put them all together and then we'd be we'd like keep going like seven those seven senses one after another like 30 seconds and then we had to put it on the table and then go back and do create another one and it was really it was really cool to see what our other um um, friends were doing in the studio but also what I like about that studio is because you learn that in architecture when you're working with other people in the studio everyone has like different ideas and you're able to like see what they're thinking and doing and what they can come up with and then after that we did this other activity um, it was called life in section and so basically we had to ch we were randomly chosen or given I think three different senses or three different feelings, I think. And then we were supposed to basically illustrate something in three different sections, um, like those feelings. And then once we were done sketching that, we all pinned it up and then um, our teammates or our friends were supposed to be guessing what exactly the feeling was supposed to be based on what we illustrated. And that was really cool. and. And then later that night, oh, by the way, we were all supposed to be like cooking our own food or cooking with like everyone else there to sort of contribute to like dinner and lunches. And um, after that, we watched the a movie called Saving Falling Water. And it was about um, how people have been trying to like save falling water basically. So the next day was day three. And so what we did that day was we went to Kentuck Knob, which is another one of Frank Lloyd Wright's. It was really cool. It was like a cool, like, geometric sort of house. Like, 
it was also like the wood that was used in it was so nice and like the land that it was on was really cool and then it was kind of like hexagon sort of and like cool triangular like roof um so we were also able to do some sketching inside of there which is something that's really cool because um visitors who go there don't aren't really given an opportunity to do that and it was also um like a private tour and then in the back of that in the backyard of that um there's like this cool view of like some mountains and there was it was foggy that day it was really cool and it was just a beautiful so then after that oh also i forgot to say that place like the by like the gift shop it's like it, for some reason it looks it reminded me of like brighton england or something because there's like these cool little like um what are those called like those phone houses where you can call people i don't know it looked really cool and then we had ice cream there and then just waited for our um, our ride to take us back to um our studio that day we were introduced to a new project we were supposed to work on called the hearth project it had to do with frank Lloyd Wright and like the and meeting like with other people like the heart of the house we were supposed to design something that had to do with like a hearth and so like that was based on everyone's interpretation so to you what was what's like the hearth of like this place and so for Frank Lloyd Wright that was like the fireplace on um on the ground floor or like the main area in Falling Water so um so what we were supposed to do was design something and then create something physically and then basically talk about it and present it to our instructor or instructors I mean okay so the next day was day four and that day we went to Polymath Park and we were able to see um, a few different um, a few different works of Frank Lloyd Wright so there was the Duncan house and it was in this place called near Ohio Pile and that's a cool little um, town where they have like swimming or like yeah tubing all that stuff but we weren't able to go um, I wanted to go though. The owners of that park who have been like working on revitalizing the house the houses and fixing them up and it's really cool. I can insert a picture right here with one of the guys that I met and I think their name was their last names were Pipincha. And then later that day we had we got to go back to Falling Water again and this was after hours. So it was closed off again and it was really cool because this was like the f it was called the fancy dinner and we basically had dinner in the guest house of falling water um and so they presented it to us as if we were the guests of the kaufmans it was really cool and we but yeah we we ate dinner in the guest house it was a really nice time and after that we were able to explore falling water however we wanted take pictures all the pictures we wanted oh by the way i forgot to say the most of the time we weren't supposed to be using our phones and so it was supposed to, like we were supposed to focus on like everything without you know being distracted by our phones but that night we were able to use our phones take all the pictures we wanted and sketch i got my iconic falling water picture it was so cool there's this thing called the hatch and basically you open it up and you're able to go down the steps that lead to the water and i heard that some people are able to like put their feet into the water but um that day um we were we were only allowed to just like go down there and look at the water um but it was really special because not a lot of people again not a lot of people get to go down there um because it's really it could be dangerous when a lot of people are doing it but i thought it was really cool and i was really fortunate to be able to have the opportunity and go down there so then the next day was the fifth day and that we were that day we were introduced to a new project called i think a place to sit or it was they were calling it the chair project but it's really supposed to be a place to sit because it's uh, we weren't really supposed to be focusing just like on a chair but like a place to sit can be not not just a chair but like it could be some kind of surface or like an area um to to like sit that day we spent most of our time in the studio designing things and presenting it presenting all our ideas to the instructors and making sure that we put like all of our like ideas and effort and right intentions into this project because this was the project i think we were supposed to be presenting on the last day um to the critiques that were going to be coming i think that day we actually 
the project for that, I just totally forgot to explain this, but we were supposed to be using a certain amount of wood. Um, we only had like, I can't remember exactly, but we only had like a certain amount to use um, to make like a chair, I mean a place to sit. And so we spent most of that day like coming up with ideas and I think the next day is when we actually decided is when we actually were given the wood and built, put it all together that next day. Like we spent the whole day and night in that studio, um, like, like cutting plywood and like screen. No, we weren't supposed, okay. Another important part I didn't mention, we weren't supposed to use like any glue or screws. It was all supposed to be used with only zip ties. And so that was a challenge. And yeah, the next, when that next day when we were building, I mean, putting things together, we were like given a bunch of zip ties to like put everything together. And it was really fun and I can show you what mine ended up looking like. Yeah, that's what we did on day six, which was the next day. And then the day after that, day seven, was basically kind of like our last day because that was the day that we were giving it to, or presenting it um, to the critiques that came in this other part of, in this like different building we went to, to present it to. It was also in the same area um, where we were. And then that day we, after we did our reviews and stuff, it was really interesting because we all got to see everyone's um, design and what they came up with. It was really cool. And then after that, we sort of took a rest at High Meadow again. And then later that day, the instructors sort of gave us some tips and um, um, explained to us how to like put together a portfolio for colleges. Um, and then that night was like our final night and we had a cool little bonfire and we could see the stars that night, it was so pretty and we were able to like talk to everyone. Um, and then the next morning was basically the morning that I had to leave. Well, the people who were going to the airports who weren't like getting picked up by their parents went to the airport and that was basically it. Um, my flight was like late that day, so um, after I got dropped off at the airport, I went back into town on this bus and spent my day in Pittsburgh. And if you want a video on what I did in Pittsburgh, I could totally do that. But um, that's basically what I did. It was really cool. And um, I got to learn a lot of cool things about like, like when, like the design process and the thought process whenever you're like doing things related to architecture and I was able to like practice my drawing and like talk things out about what's going on in the design and like explaining what it is that you're designing and like everything that's put into it to the like when you're presenting it to the critiques which is really important like when you go to architecture school or like when you're actually in the business and yeah that's what I did so if you like this um, video, um, make sure you like it and subscribe, that'd be great, um, and thanks for watching.